Amid Will Smith and Chris Rock controversy at the 94th Academy Awards, our Bollywood superstar Salman Khan came up with some hosting tips. Salman believes that a host should be sensitive towards his audience. On the sidelines of an event when Salman was asked if hosts should be careful with their jokes on stage, Bollywood's Daban Khan said, It's important for a host to be sensitive. Humor should always be above the belt and never below the belt. I have hosted shows like Big Boss, Das Kadam and so many live shows on stage. Salman further added, Whenever I have hosted Big Boss and something wrong has happened with one of the contestants that has made me angry or disappointed, I say it out in the show. But I know there is a limit. End of the day, the contestants are also living in the house and they have to perform. So learn to be patient and sensitive towards them. I don't cross a line. Whatever I have to say, I say it on the given Saturday and then on Sunday. I am all normal. In the end, Salman said, Even the contestants know that no one likes a blabber mouth or a loud mouth. It's not going to help their careers. No one in the film industry wants to work with a blabber mouth. Now talking about the Will Smith and Chris Rock controversy at the Oscars, in the middle of the event, Will Smith went up on stage and punched Chris Rock on the face after he made fun of his wife Jada Pinkett Smith's bald look. Will even screamed, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. However, Will Smith apologized for his behavior then and there only as he said, I want to apologize to the Academy, I want to apologize to all my fellow nominees. This is a beautiful moment and I am not crying for winning an award. It's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine a light on all the people. The entire cast and crew of King Richard. Well, later, Will also publicly apologized on social media. Meanwhile, Chris also reportedly approached the Smith family after the incident and apologized to them. For more such news and updates, stay tuned to E-Times.